Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. Today we are going to be unboxing something that I have been waiting patiently for for a few months. So keep watching. If you would like to see the latest Lit Joy Crate box for magical classes. Now this box from Lit Joy is actually their July box and it is October, so we are just receiving it. I know that they had a few issues with one of the items in the box and LaJoy was really good about keeping us updated on it. They let us know, you know, that they were waiting on this one item and they sent a few emails out with just some random like little quizzes and things that you could print out on your computer. I don't really know what was in those because I don't have a printer. I wasn't going out and printing them, but they did send some things out for people just to keep them entertained while they did not have their box. Now, right before they sent the box out, they sent another email letting us know that they did receive the one item that they were waiting on, but half of them, I think, were broken. And so I think that a lot of these boxes or like half of these boxes went out without the complete item. I think it was like part of the item was broken. So they only sent out one of two parts. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't want to get any spoilers of what the item was. So I'm really hoping that I have the full item in here. I know that there's been so many issues with shipping and production in the last year and a half, but waiting so long on the box, I may be a little disappointed if I don't have all of the items in here but you never know, they might have everything in here, we might be good. But before I get everything opened with this box, I do wanna give you just a little bit of information about Lit Joy Crate. So their magical subscription box is a quarterly box. The box itself is $54.99, but that is just for the standard box. Lit Joy does have a lot of add-ons that you can usually add to the boxes. They have this line of keys as add-ons and I always get those and those are a little expensive. But besides that, I only got a couple add-ons on this box. I think mainly just because nothing really struck me that I needed to have in my collection. So I'm still very excited. I believe my add-ons are all in here. So let's go ahead, let's pull up the box and see what art we have on it this month. You can see that it does say Lit Joy Magical Subscription and it has the magical classes since that is this box's theme. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure who all of these characters are because I believe that there's a lot of different characters on this box, but you can see, it looks like we are in Hogwarts. You can see there is, oh, this box is a little heavy. You can see there's like some staircases here and there's a Slytherin banner. So it looks like we're in Hogwarts and I'm thinking this looks like it could be Mr. Cedric Diggory. The only person I can think this would be would be Cho Chang. It's a Ravenclaw girl. And then I'm thinking maybe Blaze Zabini is this character. Just really going off of their general look and their houses that they're in. But it's definitely fun to have some other characters. Maybe we'll get a little more information on like the cheat sheet or something talking about the art. But let's see what's on all of the other sides as well. So flipping it straight over, you can see we have Mr. Ronald Weasley with a overflowing cauldron. You have Harry looking a little amused at that. And then Severus Snape. We don't talk about him much on this channel. Oh, you can see it says potions up here. And then on here, oh, this is my favorite side of the box. You guys know I love divination. But you can see we have Trelawney with, I believe this is Parvati and Lavender and they are in divination class. They've got their little crystal balls, which I love. On the back here, we have, I believe a second Ronald Weasley. You can see he has a broken wand. And then Hermione, of course, knowing exactly how to lift her feather. This is of course charms class. So we do have Professor Flitwick over here. Then on this side, we have Transfiguration with Draco Malfoy and Professor McGonagall. Looks like they're trying to turn a teapot into a frog. And on the back or the bottom, it looks like it's just a picture with no students, but I believe that that's the astronomy tower, which is very pretty. You just kind of see the night sky and a telescope. 
and a shooting star. The artwork on these boxes is always really pretty. I definitely save these boxes. And one of the add-ons that you can buy is actually a, just like a bag that they put over the box when they ship it to keep it from getting all damaged. So I always do that. And then I think when we open the box, there should be another little print right on the front here. But before I go over that, let me go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek. Ooh. It definitely looks full. I do see a few of my add-ons right away. Oh, I love the art print inside. We have Gilderoy Lockhart with a bunch of Cornish pixies and Harry trying to catch them all. I like Gilderoy Lockhart for some reason. I know he was not the best, but he's amusing. This is probably the cheat sheet, so I'm just gonna put it down. I'm gonna put my add-ons that I see to the side. That way we can just go over them after all of the actual items in the box. It looks really fun, I'm not gonna lie. There are a bunch of boxes, some weird little thing. I don't know, I'm a little excited. Let's start out with this blue box that says potion ingredients on it. So it says the finest quality potion ingredients. Now on the back here, it says salt and pepper. Whether you're creating an antidote, draft or solution, using the finest quality ingredients ensures the best potion possible. Pioneers should fill these potion bottles with their favorite variety of salt and pepper to sprinkle into their cauldrons as needed. So it sounds like we might have salt and pepper shakers in here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's see what they look like though. The packaging is very nice. See, I am more, when I'm getting subscription boxes, I like to get replicas. I, I enjoy usable items sometimes, depending on how magical they look. So let's see how magical these look. I think, I don't know if these go in them. They might just be there to keep them from breaking. Hmm. I'm just gonna open them both so I can show you them both. So it looks like it is salt and pepper shakers. Now I will say they are, it seems like they're real glass bottles and I'm not exactly sure the tops of them. I don't know if you're supposed to use them for the shakers, but they feel like rubber and they just have some holes drilled into them. I feel like that definitely could have been done better. I don't know. I've never seen salt and pepper shakers like that. So I don't know if that's a thing that I just don't know about. But the first thing that definitely upset me a little bit is that this is not on there straight at all. I have been very lucky in my subscription boxes that I've gotten recently that I haven't had any off-centered labels, but it really bothers me when they're off-centered. But I'm a perfectionist like that. Let me see if the quirks that came with them, let me see if I put those like on them, if they look better. The only thing is you wouldn't be able to really use them for like a shaker. You'd have to kind of like do a pinch of salt. I'm thinking they maybe put those, put these in here to make them look more like potion bottles, which is what I would do with them. So they do look a little better with the cork on them. They look more like a potion bottle. I mean, I could definitely use them. The quality of them is nice. I wish the labels were a little better and centered. I'm not blown away by the salt and pepper shakers for the potion item. There is a lot more in this box though. So let's pull out this really big box. It says the word mandrake on it. It says mandragora officinarum. And then it says mandrake. You can see a little picture of the mandrake on there as well. Now on the back here, oh, it does say property of Pomona sprout on the top there. And then it says Mandragora officinarum, also known as mandrake, is a powerful restorative and has been an important plant for centuries in witchcraft, sorcery, and herbal medicine. The mandrake forms an essential part of most antidotes and is often used to return people who have been transfigured petrified or cursed to their original state. Plant your favorite seeds or flowers in the mandrake pot or style with artificial stems or leaves. So it sounds like, well, it says each ceramic planter. So we have a ceramic planter in here. 
Now I just realized I have been, I always keep myself away from as many spoilers as I can. I have a friend on Instagram. His name is Hector. You can find him under my Harry Potter corner. He put out some really amazing pictures of a little mandrake planter. And I'm wondering if it's this. If it is, I'll be a little excited because I really wanted it after I saw his pictures. So let's see. It is him. I am a little excited about this. And I'm definitely gonna have to get some fake greenery or something. I can't keep plants alive, so it'll have to be fake. But this little guy is really cute. I, I, okay, I do like this item. This definitely puts me in a better mood than the salt and pepper shakers. So it's this little ceramic planter that will have green coming out of it to look like a mandrake. But look at his face. Look at that little angry face. I love it because the mandrakes were not happy about being replanted. Oh, I do really like that. It's hard to like, because it doesn't have any plants in it, it's hard to get like the full grasp of it. But I did see his pictures, which do have some greenery in there. And it is really cute. And it is ceramic, so it is good quality. I don't, I don't think there would be, oh, I don't think there'd be a top on it. I'm trying to think if maybe this was the item, the part of it was broken. We'll have to see, but I do like the bottom if it is a broken piece, but yeah, I do like the little angry mandrake. <laughs> I saw something, but I'm not looking at it because I don't want to see the whole thing. I'm going to open up this weird, this very weird little package that it almost feels like, you know, when you buy me like ponchos or like little raincoats that they put in like a little bag so they can be easily transportable. That's the material that this feels like. You can see it's a little cat that to me looks like McGonagall in her animagus form. But everything that's a cat that I get for Harry Potter, I instantly go to McGonagall, so I'm not for sure. But I do kind of think that looks like her. It has this little clip on the top to hang it. Let's see what's in here. I can't think of what they would give us. I really have no idea. What all do you? It looks like a little bag. It looks like there's like a tote bag in here. I don't know if you can see because the material is kind of wrinkly. It says transfiguration lesson seven, cat to bag. Oh, so I guess we're transfiguring a cat into a bag for this lesson. Oh, it shows the cat in the bag, showing you that the cat actually has bones inside of it. It's kind of giving you like the lesson of turning a cat into a bag. And then on the back, you have the actual like a whole cat. I don't know if you can see that. Now, I mean, this is definitely a usable item that you could just like take with you in case you needed a tote and you didn't know if you were gonna need one. I find the material a little odd for the tote. I think mainly I'm just used to getting, like if I get tote bags, it's usually like the burlappy kind of or cotton tote bags. So it's definitely different. I'm not sure how much use I would get out of this. So that's our transfiguration item is our little pocket tote bag. All right, so we've went through potions, we've went through herbology and transfiguration. So there's definitely a few classes we still have left. So let's get our next box and see what our next class is. So I'm gonna get, seeing things, I'm flipping them over. I'm gonna get this bat or this box out. Usually when you get boxes in this shape, it's usually like some kind of plate. It might be part of an item. Let me open it up, let me see because I really don't have any idea what it could be. It's definitely a plate. Now I've been wondering if maybe the two piece item, LaJoy in their book boxes that I have seen, they will come out with like teacups and saucers or cups and saucers. So I was thinking maybe that that was something. I'm definitely thinking this is part of an item because looking at it, you don't get much out of it. Let me show you the whole thing. So in my head, I'm believing that this is probably part of a teacup for divination. That's gonna be my guess. I'm gonna set this to the side because this is definitely part one of a two part item. So I'm just gonna set it to the side and see if we can find it. The only thing that a teacup could be in would be this. And I feel like it's too small. I do feel like it's too small. 
which is making me think I might not have got my whole item, which is gonna really bum me out. Let's look and see. Let's see what this is. It could be a little teacup, I could be wrong. This one is just, the box itself is like the other one. It just says Lit Joy Magical on here. The boxing of them both are similar, so maybe this is a teacup. Oh, I did get both pieces. There is a teacup in here. It's just a little teacup. So we know that I love divination and I do love teacups. This is definitely a good quality teacup. It is little, but that definitely means that it will fit on my divination shelf. The flowers on here match the flowers from the saucer. So there's a little one here and then this one here. And inside, I do like the inside of it too. You can see right here, there's some wording. It says, my dear, you have the grim. And then we have our actual grim in the tea leaves down at the bottom. It's definitely a really nice item. I already have a teacup, but I am not opposed to getting more teacups. And I do like how this one's kind of little. I kind of want to use it. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is the item with two parts that some people only got one part of it. So I'm definitely happy that I got both of mine since we've been waiting since July. I am sorry if you are one of the people who did not get both of your pieces because I would be really bummed. But hopefully, I believe that they said they're gonna send it out in the next box or send it out at some point once they get more. So once you do get it, I do definitely like the teacup. Now this is the item that I saw and you can obviously tell what it is, but I didn't want to look at it because I didn't want to see all of it. But we have our Care of Magical Creatures item, which is a monster book of monsters. I don't know what exactly it is. Let me get it out of this wrapping. Oh. Ooh. It's very soft. Ooh. This is so soft. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's wonderful. And then it says the monster book of monsters. You can see the little eyes in the middle there. I think it opens up. So that's pretty cool. It opens up. It's just like a little box that you can put stuff in. I do really like that because this is like the perfect size to go on a shelf. But if I wanted to, I could also use it to put other things in. I do kind of like that. I just keep touching it. I got to stop. But there's our Care of Magical Creatures class item. And I'm kind of a fan. Now, most of our big items are done, except for our add-ons. So I'm gonna go over, Lichoy has a few, and by a few, it looks like a good chunk of like paper items in the bottom here. Now there is, each of the Lichoy boxes has, in all of the boxes I've received, they have a, like a collectible coin. And each month it's based off of a different spell. It's been so long since we had, Lichoy puts out some little spoiler hints and I'm pretty sure I had figured out what spell this was, but I honestly cannot remember because it's been so long. But since we've opened everything else, I'm gonna save this to last and go over our paper items. So in each of these boxes, you do get just like a little print that is loosely based off of the artwork from the box. So it looks like we have the print of herbology class when they are replanting or repotting the mandrakes. So you can see Professor Sprout. You've got Harry and Ron and Hermione with their earmuffs on. Does Ron have his? No, Ron does not have his. And I'm thinking that little guy in the back is gonna be Neville because he just looks like he's way too happy to be in the greenhouses. So these are always really cute. Oh, look at that little mandrake that Hermione has. That guy is cute. Can't even lie. They definitely, I feel like they did good on the mandrakes in this box because they're angry and cute and I like that. But yeah, that's just a little print that they give you in each box. Ooh, we have some pins. I didn't see them, but I'm gonna keep them too. Oh, this is fun. So they do, they also do a film strip in every box. And I believe when they were talking about the film strip for this box, there was kind of a loose Ravenclaw theme. And so I think it's Ravenclaws only on the film strip. Let me take a look. 
So I am thinking that this is a Ravenclaw inspired film strip. We have Luna Lovegood in the very top with her Spectre Specs and Gilderoy Lockhart, of course, getting his smile in there. Now the next one, I believe, now I could be wrong. I think Padma is the Patil sister that is in Ravenclaw and she's got her DA coin. And of course, Gilderoy again, he has to be in the camera. We have Trelawney with her awesome hair and glasses and more Gilderoy. And then you've got the, all of the Ravenclaw ghosts in the bottom. So you have Moaning Myrtle, Rowena Ravenclaw and her daughter, whose name is just out of my brain. Helena? Is it Helena? I don't know why I can't think of it, but you have all of your Ravenclaw ghosts at the bottom and Gilderoy just in every picture because that's how he is. So the film strip is pretty cute for this month. That's another item that you just get every month in the box. Now, I think this is an advertisement. They usually put like a little unicorn advertisement in. They kind of make it look like an item. It looks like it is astronomy themed. So maybe this is their astronomy item. It says, join the Lunicorns today, the night sky student's guide. And it just gives you, what is this? Oh, okay. So they turned one of their items into an advertisement. So you can see on the back here, it has all your information about becoming a Lunicorn, which I am a Lunicorn. You pay $10 a month and you get, you know, special items that are only available for Lunicorns. You get sales, things that come available before they come available to the public, but you pay the $10 a month and that money actually goes towards points that you can use on any of your purchases. So we buy a lot from LitJoy, so we do that. But on the back of the ad, they do have this print that looks like an astronomy print. I, I don't think this would be part like an item because it's on the back of the ad, but I'm thinking that's maybe their way of getting a little astronomy in the box as well. So I'm going to just fold that up. Now we've got one more paper item before we get to the last two items in the box. Now this one, I don't know exactly what it is. It's kind of in this little envelope, so I can't see it. I can see that it says Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh, something fell out of it. There's a little mandrake, a little mandrake sticker. He's pretty cute. I really like the whole Mandrake vibe out of the box. I don't know if this was supposed to be the Defense Against the Dark Arts item, but you can see there's like a card and it has the Cornish Pixie, the same little part that I had in the front of the box, but it has a note in here for us. Dear LitJoy customer, like many companies, LitJoy's products and shipping times are being severely impacted. Oh no, I did have an item missing part of it. It wasn't the teacup that was missing. It is part of the mandrake. It says that as a consequence, your magical classes crate is missing one item, the ceramic pot home for your adorable mandrake. So maybe it's not a topper. Maybe it's something that he's, oh, the pot, the pot that it actually goes in. We will ship this item to you as soon as it arrives. And of course we will cover the shipping costs. They are giving me a hundred LitJoy rewards points. So that's $10 off anything. It does say thank you for your patience and understanding. I do understand, you know, that there's been a lot of issues and stuff. So this isn't really an item. This is just telling me that I'm missing part of my item. It is very disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to not be upset about it. But yeah, I've been waiting since July and I'm missing part of an item. It's kind of a big bummer. When I get it, I'll definitely take a picture or something, let you guys see what the whole mandrake looks like. Apparently some people did get it, so you can probably go on Instagram and find it. But yeah, I guess I'm missing mine. Thinking of that, we have two items left and I'm thinking maybe one of these is Defense Against the Dark Arts. I'm gonna do the pins. Maybe they are. I can't see them, what are they? Yeah, these are the Defense Against the Dark Arts. These are kind of cool. This is a darker part of Defense Against the Dark Arts. We have a Unforgivable Purses set of pins. I actually do kind of like them. So on the top, you have the skeleton that says Avada Kedavra. On the right here, you have the Imperious Curse, which shows a person being used like a puppet. 
And then on the left, we have the Crucio curse, which you can see looks like a bunch of sticks or something like going through someone's arms. You can just tell that that's painful, whatever it is. The pins themselves are pretty nice. They're very shiny. I like the kind of black and white and gold theme to them. I personally haven't seen any pins like this. I kind of like the weird shape to them. Not weird, but just unique, a unique shape. A lot of pins that you get are either like square or circle if they're not in the shape of whatever they are. So I do like those. I think the pins are pretty cool. So we are going to get into our final item of the actual box without any add-ons. They always come in these really nice little velvet bags. It looks like mine's come untied, but I can tie that. But it's a red one. I'm trying to think what class we haven't went over. We've went over potions, herbology, care of magical creatures, transfigurations, divination, charms. Have we not went over charms? Maybe there's like a Wingardium Leviosa in here or something. I'm pretty sure just from the wand movement I see on the back of it, it's going to be Wingardium Leviosa. Yes, it is. I do really like their coins. I don't know why, but I think they're pretty cool. So you can see that it says Wingardium Leviosa. And it has a feather in the middle there. And on the bottom it says to levitate objects. And then on the back you do have the... I had to get the right way. <laughs> You do have the wand movement, which I, I do really like those. They remind me of the little spots in Universal Studio where you can go and use your interactive wands. But yeah, this guy is going to go right over here with the rest of my coins. Now, one of the add-ons I did get was another little stand. They sell little stands and I always get one with each of my boxes just so I can have a little stand to go on. So that's our charms item is our collectible coin, which I'm always a fan of. Okay, so now it's add-on time, which is always exciting because I get to choose my own add-ons. So I know what these are and I am excited for them. I'm gonna start off with, they always do like one pin add-on and they're kind of, it's like a Polaroid collection. So I think that's pretty unique. Like I said, in this box, there was a subtle Ravenclaw theme to some of the items. I know that one of the other add-ons you could get also had the Ravenclaw theme, but I did not get it. It was a book sleeve, it was really pretty. But this one is the, it's called the Wit Beyond Measure Common Room Pin. And you can see that it's the Ravenclaw Common Room. And it looks like it has, it has like an R plaque on the wall. It's very celestial themed as well, which is really pretty. And it says, which came first, the Phoenix or the Flame? Because of course, to get into the Ravenclaw Common Room, you have to answer a riddle. So that's really cute. I definitely, I think I have two of these. So yeah, I have another one to add to my pin board, but I was excited for that pin. Now one add-on that I got that I do not usually get, LitJoy has a kind of like a series of notebooks that they will put out as add-ons and they're cute. They've just, I've never seen one that I was like, oh, I have to have that in my collection. Until the Unfogging the Future notebook. <sighs> I just love everything divination. I really, really do. Let me take this out so we can look at it a little better. Ooh, ooh. So you can see it says Unfogging the Future and it has silver foiling on here. How beautiful is that? I love the cover with the crystal ball with the eye in the middle. I always, when I think of like book replicas from Harry Potter that I would love to see, I'm always rooting for Unfogging the Future because I just want it, I want it. And now I have one and I'm very excited about it. But on the back too, you can also see that they have some teacup and tea leaf information on here. You can see the grim on there. What else do they have? This prosperity and bad news. Uh, the one that had a few hearts in it says you will meet your beloved soon. 
So it's kind of giving you just a little information of what your tea leave readings could mean. I was just a big fan, so I had to get the notebook. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> And then our last two add-ons that we have are going to be the two keys that they put out for the Alohomora key collection. I'm not sure which one is which, so we're just gonna kind of get into them. This one's heavier, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on the heavy one. Okay, let's see. So here we have, we have the, it's called the Magical Sports Team Supplies Key, which I'm assuming is supposed to be like the key to the Quidditch supply room. But you can see, oh, it is pretty cool. I really like the keys. I don't know if they do anything special. Sometimes they do special things, but I can't remember because it's been so long since I announced them. But you can see the key itself. It's a golden snitch in the middle of this plaque here. The little keychain says quali quality Quidditch supplies and it has all four of the house like banners. And then I'll take these out, but it looks like there is a, like a quaffle and a beater and a bat for the keychain. So this is really cool because on the key itself, besides that golden snitch, you can see that this little part is like the hoops. And I think that's super cool. That was pretty creative. And I do like, of course, they always have it branded correctly. So you have a gold key ring which is something small, but a lot of people would just make them like all silver, no matter what the color of the key was. Let me take out this actual keychain to see what that looks like. So these are just little, they're made to look like leather. They're probably not really leather, but you have your beater bat right there. And then this one is going to be the bludger right here. And then this one is the quaffle. And you can see it has the H in there for Hogwarts. So I always enjoy the keys. I think that one's a pretty cute little Quidditch themed key. I think I was definitely more excited for the next key that I'm gonna open. So let me get that one, pull it out for you. So this key is called the Potion Master's Cabinet Key. I do like this one a lot. So on the key itself, you see that there's like a little potion bottle and it actually says potion storeroom on there. And then the key chain is a cauldron with some books and a potion bottle in it. And then the actual key ring is a potions book. So let me get this out here. As much as I'm not a big fan of Snape, I love potions. Like I feel like if I went to Hogwarts, that would be my favorite class. This one does not want to come out. Oh, the key on this one, like the snitch key was kind of thin, still really nice, but it was a thinner key. This bad boy is a thick guy. He is heavy that I really like the darker color of this key. And it says potion storeroom up there. And it has that really cool little potion bottle. And then it has this little like black gem right there. But I really, I just like the whole kind of aesthetic of this key. It's very alley. But then we have this key ring that the color matches it and it says bottle fame, brew glory, stopper death, which we all know is something that Snape says, but that's really cool. It's very shiny. I really, really like the, that little keychain that goes with it. But then this bad guy is pretty awesome. It says progressive potions volume two. And it clips on, and you can see it's like that same dark color. But then you have the little textbook, the volume two. I don't know, it looks like, like I would never actually use this, but, oh no, you can't open it. Sure? Yes, it's like glued together. <gasps> oh no, I'm a liar. Chris didn't believe me and I tried to show him, but it did come off. It was just a little stuck together, but it, oh my goodness. 
Progressive Potions. This book is the property of, and then you could write your name in there if you want. Oh, it looks like it's just like a little notebook in here. There's no words or anything, but it does say Progressive Potions right on the top there. So that's pretty cute. I won't use it, of course, but it's cool that they thought about that. So I always enjoy the keys. I have all of the other ones, so I kind of can't go without them. So they're always an add-on that I get. I think I usually get more add-ons than this. Again, it was just nothing really struck my eye except for the few that I did get. Let's go ahead, go over our cheat sheet. Let's go over this whole box and see what we thought about it. They always kind of theme their cheat sheets. So on the front, it says Hogwarts Weekly Schedule. And it says this planner belongs to Hermione Granger. And you can see that it has like her whole schedule listed out here. But you can see it says like one turn equals one hour. So this is her planner or schedule when she has the time turner. So that's pretty cool. Again, it's a pretty big print. So I don't think it's really something that I could use it afterwards on my shelf, but it's always nice whenever they kind of theme it like that. But let's see what items they have on here. The first item for charms was the Wingardium Leviosa collectible coin. The second item for transfiguration is the foldable cat bag. Now for the bag, it does specifically say this fun bag is perfect for carrying groceries from the store or taking on a day trip because it can be folded up whenever you're not using it. Next item is Defense Against the Dark Arts and it was the enamel magnets. They're not pins. That kind of makes me like them a little less. I still like them, but I don't really have anything in my Harry Potter collection room that I could put magnets on. Like that would have to be something that I would put, you know, like on your refrigerator or something like that. I'll have to see if I can find something that I can add to my collection to put magnets on, but I don't have anything in here. So that's a little sad. It is cool to get magnets, I guess. I think I would definitely prefer them as pens. As one of the items, it has the Magical Classes theme art print which was like that little print that we get in each of the boxes. I don't know if I'd actually say that would be an item of the box. It's just a small little print, but that's listed as a Magical Classes art print. For potions, we have the Seasonings Potion Shakers, which they have labels, so it would just be salt and pepper. Then we have for Herbology, we have the Baby Mandrake Planter. And I will show you this because it does look like there is a little pot that's supposed to go underneath him. And... So that's pretty cute. I'm a little upset I don't have mine, but hopefully they'll get that to me soon. We have for care of magical creatures, we have the Monster Book of Monsters storage box. It also lists the Ravenclaw common room photo strip. I guess that is an item. Again, it's something that I don't classify too much because you get one in each box, but the Ravenclaw common room photo strip is on here. For divination, we have the teacup and saucer. And then, and then it just has the featured add-ons of the two Alohomora keys that we got. I'll go over my favorites and least favorites first. Um, let me see. I think for my least favorite items, oh man, I don't know. Okay, there were two items that I think I could classify as my least favorite, but I'm going to tell you why I'm choosing the one that I'm choosing. So I really wasn't too big of a fan of the salt and pepper shakers. But I'm not going to choose them as my least favorite because I think I could take those labels off of here. And then they're just like nice glass bottles that I could make into potion bottles, just put something else in them. So they're good quality, like the bottles themselves, they are glass and they did give you the corks so you could make them look like potion bottles. So they're not going to be my least favorite. I think my least favorite is going to be this foldable tote bag. Not that I don't use tote bags, but I would have preferred if they put a tote bag in here, if it was just, you know, like a standard cloth tote bag. I do like those. I'm not a big fan of the material of this, of how wrinkly it looks. Like it's hard for me to even show it to you guys because it's so wrinkly. And I mean, I think the thought of it, the idea of it was good to have something that you could like take around with you. It's definitely something you can use, but yeah, for me, it's just my least least favorite in the box. 
And for my favorite item, if I had the full item, I think it would be the Mandrake Planner because I love his little angry face and I think he's pretty cute. Also, I really liked the magnets when I thought they were pins, but finding out they were magnets kind of kicked them down a little bit. I think I'm gonna say my favorite item in the box is going to be the Monster Book of Monsters, mainly because I don't have anything Monster Book of Monsters related. I've seen, you know, other replicas that are very realistic and they look like the actual book. This one's definitely more of, it's more of a cutesy version of it, but it's still really nicely made. I like that you can put stuff in it if you want. I think it's a pretty good little item. I think that's gonna be my favorite. Okay guys, so now it's time to go over my honest opinions of this box. Honestly, I feel like this box was okay. There were definitely a few items in here that I enjoy that I'll probably put in my collection. There were a few that I wasn't a big fan of. The thing, the issue that I'm having right now is I feel like I put LitJoy kind of up on this pedestal because before I started getting boxes from LitJoy, I would watch all these unboxings of their last series, which was they did a box for each book. And those boxes came out with some incredible items. I still am on LitJoy's website to this day, ordering old items out of those boxes because they were so good. They have, there's a Snape memory vial that is just, it's like crystal and beautiful and I need it in my collection. They had like this beautiful Ravenclaw diadem mirror and they had all these like pieces of jewelry that were just stunning, just really nice items in every box. They were just top notch. Thinking about last month's box, we kind of saw a little bit of that. They did have that beautiful remember all, but I can honestly say, I don't remember anything else that was in that box. They had one really nice item, but then the rest of the box kind of suffered because of that. And then looking at this box, I feel like they tried to not do that. They tried not to put all of their resources into one item, but it kind of made like the item, some of the items are nice, but I feel like there's not any stand out item in this box. I can't see any of these items. I can't see myself being like, I have to go on the website and buy that as soon as they restock it. And I feel like that's what's making me have these weird little feelings about the Lit Joy box. When I get these boxes in my, I'm all hoping, you know, for one of those, one of those amazing boxes that they used to put out. And I'm just not, not really feeling it with the box. I feel like some of the items that I get the most excited for from Lit Joy are the add-ons that I buy because I know what they're gonna be. I know the keys are really nice, but I'm just dropping a lot of extra money for the add-ons. So I hate to say that guys, but I feel a little underwhelmed. If you guys got the box, definitely let me know how you're feeling about it or how you're feeling about Lit Joy in general right now. Before I opened my box, I did talk to a few people and they seemed very excited about the items in here. Maybe I wasn't as excited about the teacup because I know a lot of people are going to be excited about the teacup, but I do already have one that I got just a few boxes ago from the wizarding trunk. And I thought it was also a really nice replica. This one is as well, but I have one. So the excitement wasn't there for it, I guess. But yeah, just let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave a comment and I would love to hear your thoughts. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the wizarding world, Feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time in the common room.